Hey guys, Jordan here. Just want to answer a question uh, that I recently got and let's jump to the question. Here it is. It's incredible how fast you shoot this house. I just got an A6600 and learning Sony cameras. Obviously, you're shooting bracketed shots without flash. I was just wondering about camera settings because uh, you never touch the dial. You just go with the workflow. Specifically, I'm looking for a video about how to set AEB um, with flash in the single shots. Um, so uh, with Sony, they make it actually very easy. One of the drive modes, if you go through your drive mode in your Sony camera, there is a continuous bracketed shots. So there's also a, a bracketed settings and and the setting that I recommend is a two second timer um, for the bracketed shots. Now the bracketed shots, um, I do three, we do three photos uh, with um, 3.0 uh, exposure value so you're getting a negative three exposure a zero and a plus three now you can adjust your exposure dial based on the shot if if your center uh, zero preview shot is looking too dark or too bright based on how your camera is exposing the shot um, but that uh, is is a great way um, is an easy way i mean sony cameras they, they do make it pretty easy now, hold on, let me go back, make sure I answer the whole thing. So going fast. Yeah, so so when not using flash, um, it makes it easier because, um, and that's that's where I, I recommend people starting in real estate photography. If you don't know how to use flash or just want to make it simple as possible, the biggest uh, increase to your quality is going to be your composition. So really focus on composition. You can shoot. Uh, just bracketed shots, not using uh, external lighting, because I think when you add additional variables when you're not ready, your composition uh, might not be as good. So we recommend starting without flash. Now, I believe most of our photographers don't use flash anymore. We got through a whole different phase of, of uh, bracketed JPEGs, J uh, bracketed RAW. We did JPEGs with flash and... Uh, you know, there's methods to, sh to shrink. Most people are shooting JPEGs because they want size. But anyways, I'll talk about JPEGs and RAW in another video. But you're talking about um, video, or sorry, flash, right? Yeah, well, that's without flash. But um, you can shoot with flash, but you have to use a flash that doesn't have all those pins at the front, which is like a sync flash. Because when you shoot Sony's with a sync flash or one that, um, you know, just adjust as you're shooting that, um, I think it's called sync if I'm not mistaken. But anyways, somebody in the comments correct me if I'm wrong. But it'll only fire one shot of your three brackets, so you have to fire each individually, which is not, not good. So I'll, uh, when, when we want to use flash for our bracketed shots, you just need to make sure that um, you're using a, a cheaper flash that just has the single pin at the top as well as, um, hold on, I was thinking about one other thing you have to think about when you're using flash, which is, um, shutter speed. And you can control that by adjusting your ISO settings. If you don't want to fully adjust, um, uh, aperture. Some people think my ISO is set to automatic, but it, it is set to automatic, but it is set by me with a with a range of 100 to 400. So we're not getting super grainy shots. You know, 1 to 400 is great, you know, and that's one thing that really helps to be able to move faster through a property, right, is where you're not having to adjust every single shot um, as you go. So if you have a good range which i think uh, up to 400 uh, iso is appropriate for photos beyond that you can push it but you might have to use like a, a noise reduction to eliminate some of the grain uh, so i think it's a good balance of speed but it, it also will depend on your aperture setting if if you're shooting at like a 7.1 or 8 or higher or, or even lower um, you just need to make sure that you're, um, if you're using flash, that at least that first exposure is set to at least, um, I think slower than 250 or 320, one of those. Otherwise, you're going to get some, get a flash that doesn't show up. You like your shutter doesn't get out of the way quick enough to actually show up on the entire image, if that makes sense. So, anyways, that's just a quick 
uh, answer of your question. Hopefully uh, that helps um, if you're shooting uh, with flash. Uh, but yes, um, I will also mention that if you're shooting flash and uh, it depending on your flash's recycle time and your flash setting, if it's if it's like one over one, if it's a full power, it's not going to recycle fast enough to fire all three times, which in my opinion is fine. I think it's good just to get that zero shot at uh, a flash, and I, I'm, I'm okay blending with ambient uh, shots on the subsequent two. Um, so, or just shooting it all um, ambient, uh, as long as you're shooting raw, because you can really uh, do good. But depending on uh, what you're shooting with, so if you're shooting with a flash, shooting JPEG, um, I, in my opinion, I think it's better to shoot raw and, or without a flash than shooting JPEGs with flash. So anyways, uh, it's kind of a wordy answer, but uh, hope, hope, hopefully you got value out of the question and it, or answer and it uh, made sense. So anyways, reach out if you have any additional questions. We'll see you on the next one.